Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I do to like reset for a week. This is a routine that I do at some point every weekend to kind of clear out everything from the past week and get ready for the new week. I find this is just really helpful to stay organized and productive. And since the school year is coming to an end, a lot of finals and tests are coming up and I found myself to be a little less organized and I haven't done this routine in a few weeks. So I decided to film today's routine for you guys. So yeah, that is is today's video and let's get started. All right guys, so the first step of this routine is always to make a to-do list. I think it really helps to write everything that I need to get done on a paper and then get started rather than like just trying to think of random things to do. So I always start with a to-do list. Okay, so my to-do list is not super long, but the things that I do have on here are to make my bed clean, which consists of cleaning my room and then also cleaning off my laptop, complete my Depop orders, update my Notion and bullet journal, prepare things for school, and then just relax. For me, my reset routine does not only consist of things that I have to do, but it also consists of just like relaxing and just taking a break before I have to get back into like school and stuff during the week. So I do make sure to find time for myself to just relax. And today is actually Actually Mother's Day so I'm going to be trying to complete all of these things before my family goes out and does like all of our stuff for Mother's Day I believe we're taking my mom to a seafood restaurant and then going to see a movie so I'm definitely gonna count that as my relaxed time I did wake up at like a reasonable time this morning I think I woke up at 8 so I am getting a good start to the day as well All right, so the first thing on my to-do list is done, and now we are going to move on to cleaning. This step is definitely the more time-consuming step, but I do think that it helps me feel just like clean and cleansed kind of for the week, and I don't know. I just like waking up on a Monday for school with my room clean and not have to see like clothes on the floor and just a messy desk, which that is definitely my situation right now. I have both of those happening, and not only am I cleaning my room, but I'm also cleaning off my laptop because let me tell you the desktop on there is so messy with just like screenshots and images and just other things that I've used for editing and stuff so I think I'm going to start by cleaning my physical environment and then I'll clean my digital environment afterwards and I think what I'm gonna do to start cleaning my physical environment is to just pick up all of the cluttered things such as clothes and stuff on my desk all cleared off and now it's time to work on the desk. Okay, so I got my floor and desk cleaned off and the last thing that I want to do for cleaning my physical environment is to just like actually clean some stuff. So uh, believe it or not, I have actually never cleaned my mirrors, which is probably not the best and I just noticed that my mirrors are dusty and not the cleanest that they could be. So yesterday I asked my mom to pick these up for me at Target. They are Windex streak free ammonia free wipes for your mirrors and they can also be used for windows, glass tables, and more. We're gonna be using these to wipe down my mirrors and other surfaces that I feel like I could clean. Okay. 
Okay, so let me just say those wipes worked really well and they also didn't smell like that bad for a cleaning solution. At first I was worried because when I was wiping my mirrors, I noticed that there was like little bubbles that it was leaving behind. And so I thought that was gonna like make stains kind of, but honestly it dried perfectly and they look super clean. It took off all the dust and like fingerprints on my mirrors. So if you're wondering like if they're good or not, they are and I would recommend them if you need some type of like mirror or glass cleaning solution, get those. They're very helpful. Also, the packaging is really nice so you can store them easily without them like drying out. It's not sponsored or anything, but I would just recommend. But you guys, I finished cleaning my room. Also, that is my sweatshirt that I'm gonna be bringing later, so don't mind that. But the floor is all clean, my desk is all clean, and my mirrors are clean, so that feels really good. And now I'm going to clean off my desktop on my laptop. My laptop needs this so bad, you guys. Like, it's, it's not even funny. Perfect cheat code. Social distance, shoddy. Don't get close to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had a lot of problems, but I couldn't keep them. I've been on a way so big to wipe out lethal. Switch it up, hey. Take it slow, take it slow. Bring it back, bring it back. Let them know, let them know. Bring it down. All right, so all of the cleaning is done. And now what I have to do is complete my Depop order. So I have not been the best at finishing Depop orders in time. And by in time, I mean like on my shop, it says that I ship them out from like three to four days, I think, after an order is like put through. Um, I got these orders probably a week ago and I haven't shipped them out and I feel bad about it, but I'm gonna fill them out today and then have them shipped out tomorrow, I believe. And I actually have three orders to fill out. So I am going to go ahead and print out the shipping labels for them and then also just put all the packages together. Alright guys, so this is what I call my Depop bin. So it's a storage bin with all of my Depop stuff that I keep out under the like couch that is in the other room. So it has like all of my tissue paper, my little bags and like cards and stuff. And then all of the clothes and bubble mailers at the bottom. So I've gone ahead and grabbed this and I'm going to look at the orders and find the clothing pieces that match up with it. Hey, your time. guys so my three depop orders are done i checked that off my to-do list and it is actually 10 36 so i am leaving my house soon to go do some mother's day stuff with my mom and honestly i think this is a good like break point because i don't want to be like working all day you know what i mean so i'm gonna go out and do some stuff with her and then when i get back i will finish off my to-do list and get ready for this week okay guys so i am home now it is currently around 4 15 and i had my hair in a braid because because for lunch we were eating outside and it was like a little breezy so I braided it and then we went to a movie now the braid got all messed up so I'm taking it out and now my hair is like all wavy I honestly don't have too much left on my to-do list all I have to do is update my notion and bullet journal and then prepare things for school and then obviously relax so I'm gonna start with updating my notion and bullet journal for me I use notion for like YouTube and then I use my bullet journal for like life stuff so I have everything in two separate places which which is why I have two separate things to update. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But let me just show you. I filled out my May bullet journal theme and look how cute it is. I did like a tulip kind of theme. This is what it looks like and I think it turned out great. And then this is the weekly spread for this week.
Okay, so now the only task that I really have to do on my to-do list is to prepare myself for school tomorrow. And this can be a lot of different things every week. Like sometimes I'll have actual homework to do. Sometimes I just have to get like papers together and like print stuff out. Sometimes there's nothing to do, but this week I do have to do a few things. I have to put more pencils in my backpack because this is the time of year where I find myself running out of pencils like every week. And I am actually out of pencils right now. So I'm gonna put some more in my backpack. And then I do also need to print out some biology notes that we're gonna be filling out this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those things ready. Pretty girls from the night school Who knows what you've been through Think you love in your bar stool all right guys so the last part of my reset routine is just to relax and i do this differently every week kind of just depending on timing and what i'm feeling like doing it's currently almost five o'clock actually so i think i'm going to have a snack and then just like hang out i don't really want to do anything in specific i might just go sit on the couch and just hang out with my mom for a little bit since it is mother's day and then later i might do a little bit of like self-care but i'm just gonna take the rest of the day to just relax and just keep everything chill. My battery is about to die so I'm going to charge it and then wait for it to charge up again and then I will talk to you guys afterwards. Alright guys so obviously as you can probably tell by the lighting it is later. It's currently around 7 p.m. and I kind of just want to take a shower and do like all that self-care stuff and then eat cake. My dad got a bunch of little like bunt cakes like miniature ones that are different flavors for us to try for Mother's Day so I'm gonna take a shower and then eat some cake which sounds amazing right now. I don't think I'm gonna do anything fancy for like self-care. Like I don't really feel like doing a face mask or anything. So I'm just gonna take my normal shower. Okay, so I've gotten a lot of questions on like my shower routine products, which it's nothing fancy. For face wash or like cleanser, I use the Curology face cleanser. This is the one that comes with my subscription and it's been working great for my skin. So that is what I use. And then I use the prescription and moisturizer after the shower. And then for hair, I literally just use this native hair stuff. I get the volumizing one and it is cucumber mint scented. It smells really good and so I just use their shampoo and conditioner. That's what it looks like. I used to use the Maui like hair care stuff and I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it's just my hair but my hair kept coming out more tangled than normal when I used it so I switched to native because I've heard good things about it and I really like it so far. So that's what I use in the shower. I also just use a normal body wash. Alright guys, so I have my room all set up to just be relaxed for the rest of the night. It's currently 8.30, so I'm not going to bed, but I think I am just going to hang out around my room, maybe do some editing, and just relax for the rest of the night since I do have school tomorrow. So I think that's where I'm going to end today's video. School is literally almost over. We only have a few weeks left, and I cannot wait for it to be summer. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!